Olusegun Bambusi, the National Coordinator, Concerned Advocates of Good Governance, CAGG, has told President Muhammad Buhari to release self-determination campaigners in Abdikanu and Sodik Buhu to the Southern Governors. Unamdikano is currently in the custody of the Department of State Service, DSS, after he was a few weeks ago rearrested in Kenya and bundled back to Nigeria while Sunday Buhu was arrested in neighboring Benin Republic on Monday night and is currently in detention in Kotonu. Kano is the leader of the indigenous people of Biafra, while Sunday Buhu is a leading advocate for Odudua Republic. Bambose noted that the nation is undoubtedly passing through a very critical moment in its political history and that the future seems to be unpredictable, warning that stakeholders must take extreme caution to avoid disintegration as the unity of Nigeria has never been this weak. The truth remains that in any part of the world where there is unfair treatment, injustice and inequality, agitations becomes inevitable and legitimate. You can't push someone and tell him or her where to fall. The senior lawyer and 2023 presidential candidate, you know, Pendencia, hopefully noted. We can't claim to be one nation when there is obvious discrimination in terms of clan or tribe. Agitation is a natural reflection of what goes on in the society. The Igbos have always complained that they are heavily marginalized in the scheme of things, while the Yorubas are aggrieved that Fulani elders are kidnapping their people, raping their women, destroying their farms, killing them. The one million era question begging for answers is how has President Buhari addressed these critical issues? President Buhari can't claim to be the father of the nation when he will treat some as sacred cows and others as sacrificial lambs. Clamping down on agitators may not yield a positive result in the long run. The issues must be addressed even though I will never be in support of any form of armed struggle. One expects President Buhari to proactively address issues raised by the agitators. Jailing the agitators will never put an end to agitation but escalating it. It will however expect the southern governors to raise to the occasion to rise pardon to the occasion and secure the release of Onandikano and Sunday Adiyemo as soon as possible. This matter can be resolved. In eight weeks, President Buhari should equally be prepared to release them to the southern governors. Our nation needs healing, not victimization. Buhari's government will be worse off and will be in the black book of the international community if he so decides to mishandle this matter. President Buhari should dialogue with the southern governors and release the two agitators to them. I believe this will prove to all Nigerians and international community that he is indeed a leader to reckon with. He should also look into their grievances and address them dispassionately. It won't be a bad idea if President Buhari will meet with Kano Igbohu and southern governors at the presidential villa to resolve this matter once and for all. I wish our president the best. What is your thought about this? What is your own reaction to what has been said according to the news? The truth remains that in any part of the world where there is unfair treatment, injustice and inequality, agitation becomes inevitable and legitimate. You can't push someone and tell him or her where to fall. The senior advocate and 2023 presidential hopefully noted. What is your thought about this? 
what is your own reaction to this that has been said as we can see that injustice is going on presently in nigeria we are seeing unfair treatment we can see inequality that is going on presently in nigeria all these things have prompted this agitation and in a in a country where you have all these unfair treatment injustice inequality agitation has become inevitable and legitimate you cannot just do without it because the government is not doing what it ought to do to prevent all these agitations what is your thought about this i'd like you to share your thoughts with us on this that i've been selling i'd like to share your own reaction and point of view about the conversation on this that has been said but before we go let's see people's reactions and their thoughts about this let's see what people have felt concerning the present situation of things in nigeria flexi wallex reacted to this and said best advice has been given and please stop making noise that is the best advice for mr president you people do not know that Kano and Igbo who has become a trap for the president and the two regions are waiting for him to enter the trap when i never see war and no matter how Aousa plenty reach, they can never fight the two regions and win. It will give setback to the country and Aousa Fulani will be finished. In fact, it may erase Buhari's generation. What is your thought about this that has been said? If Buhari and his caliber are not careful, they will be erased and Buhari will weep for the rest of his life. Is going to spend on half before he joined his ancestors already. He's old, but about to join his ancestors. You are telling him something that can finish him. Have you forgotten that he is keeping southern, eastern, and western region of Nigeria into prison because of Fulani? You think it is an easy stuff? In fact, it will only make his government worse and worse. What is your thought about what Flexi Wallace have said? That the president of Nigeria is probably intentionally doing all these things he's doing to the north, into the north, he's always in favor of the north, while he's somehow harsh to the south and to the west. People of the south are complaining, people of the west are also complaining about the way they are being treated by this presence in the government, but the president probably does not see anything bad in the way he's piloting the affair of this country and people are really lamenting and people are not happy with the present situation. After all, these two agitators, they are not the mastermind behind all these attacks. So why are they being haunted for? That is what people have been saying that the Nigerian government is really doing the wrong thing. They have left the root cause and they are chasing after shadows. That is what people have said. We'd like you to drop your thoughts and reaction via the comment section. Don't forget that Buhari has been told to release Nabdi Kanu and Sunday Buhu to the southern governors. Do you think it will be better for the president to dialogue with these two agitators with the southern governors and see how to stop this agitation rather than jailing them or probably prosecuting them and let them remain in detention? that will not stop the agitation because there are thousands of people who are ready to stand up and continue this agitation so don't you think it is better for the federal government of nigeria to please have a roundtable meeting with this agitation you know the, the, with these agitators pardon and the southern governors and let's see what we'll be able to bring out of this meeting because if things continue like this and the government refuse to have meetings with them the government you know refused to dialogue with them and will continue on a very high and tall way it will not end well and it will result to the disintegration of this country of which we have been you know a very long time praying against we'd like you to drop your thoughts and reaction by the conversation on this that has been said we'd like you to share your own point of view with us on this did you think it is high time to go you know the government of nigeria release in Abdikanu and Sunday Boho because these people are not even the mastermind behind all these attacks according to what the southern governors have said. We would like you to share your own point of view with us on this. Thank you guys for listening. To subscribe to this channel if you have not and I'll see you on the other news. Bye for now.